back here with uh, the Battle 2023. These athletes uh, five and a half minutes in. You're going to see some of these athletes really starting to struggle there at the moment. And that, that's that heart rate, that spike, nice and high. And you can see those athletes on those deadlifts. Remember those deadlifts, it's a lot of volume. At 85 kgs, it's not that heavy, but it's gonna tie out that back, it's gonna tie out those glutes and those hamstrings. And it might just affect these guys later on when they go jump into workout number four, which is the cardio workout. But uh, no clear, clear leaders at the moment in this workout. We had the Samson Stingers there. It looked like they were leading for a little bit, but uh, rest of the field catching up nicely here with them. And you can see them, that grip starting to take massive fatigue. And uh, I'm not too sure why. There we go. I don't, maybe he doesn't know how to use his feet. He doesn't know how to use his feet. That's the Samson. I think that, no, that's not Samson Stingers. Apologies. I think that is uh, FSB bomb squad that we saw on the screens there with the white shirts. Twenty seconds left for these athletes. Ten seconds left. Athletes are going to be pushing as much as they can. Remember that this is a ten-minute AMRAP. And that is time here for these athletes. That's uh, the foundational heat number one. Next up, we have heat number two for gymnastics for the foundational. So don't go anywhere. That is the foundational males. They up next in heat one. We got the RT uh, taxes average Avengers. Hier for Ibir, Model 81, Hustle and Muscle, MTVE 530, Watt Wad, Swole Patrol, Test Eagles, Cool Down, Pure Eliminators, The Boys, Shedding Mayhem, Josie East, Drunks out there in lane number 13. Lane 14 and 15 will be empty. And then, of course, this is the battle, proudly powered by Puma. Let's see our head judges there. having a chat and then of course we have uh, a huge thank you to say to Monte Cassino for allowing us to be here that's the battle my fitness in PL and of course all the vendors that are taking time out of their weekend to be here and making sure that the athletes uh, get all the goodies that they want Especially those donuts, man. Smelling those donuts right here in the studio.
and uh, those pink shirts there, nice and bright there for the art axes. See the youngster there in the team. It's always good to see the the, the up and coming youngsters, and their fifth fittest man in Africa, Josh, is uh, one of your judges here at the battle. Always good to have that experience. And there he is. There. Don't want that man pointing uh, his finger at you or giving you a no rep. Putting in his uh, airwave there. Interesting to see. A couple of athletes uh, using that. Using that for oxygen efficiency. So 20 seconds, and then we're going to get started here for these athletes. Foundational heat number two. And off they go. see those PVCs they got 24 reps then they're gonna move up into those pull-ups while the other partner hangs go one partner is going to be hanging to those rope climbs they are in the foundational uh, heats they are allowed to use their feet if they can't do legless you see a couple of them doing legless possibly because they just don't know how to use their feet just yet and they don't know that technique and see the athletes here ready on to those deadlifts only 85 kgs and 85 kgs will be for all divisions so you'll see the scaled men next up, they'll have 85 kgs, and then the uh, open men, they too will have the 85 kgs as well as the masters. Not that heavy, however, it is a huge load on that lower back. And you'll see next, instead of doing the handstand walks, they're gonna head out and they're going to do a, uh, a little run around the cones there at uh, on the mats <laughs> loving the the stars that have been uh, out here this weekend last night we had some guys in some uh, Hawaiian button t-shirts doing the liftoff so it's going to be interesting to see those teams come out. Let's see what they uh, bring to the table this morning. Are they going to wear suits? I'd love to actually see a team come out there yeah, with some suits. That'd be great. And there in the background, you see NPL, of course, uh, the official nutrition sponsor here at the battle. 
You see now they are onto that run. Once they're done with their run, they will head back into the PVC sit-ups. Remember 24, and this time in round number two, instead of one person hanging, they are going to do uh, synchronized pull-ups. So sorry, they're still in round two. Only in round three will it be synchronized. And then once they hit round three, if there's remaining time left, that round three will continue. So it will be an AMRAP of round three. So round one and round two is uh, just uh, one person hangs, the other person does the pull-ups. those rope climbs if i was a foundational athlete yeah, and i was allowed to use my feet i would definitely definitely make sure i use them within uh, this uh, workout just to try to save that grip a little bit especially for the dead hang and uh, those pull-ups great technique here for our foundational athletes on the pull-up bars Quite an interesting style there. You got uh, a little bit of a taller athlete, but he's standing right up there. He's not even bending his legs. Obviously a Romanian deadlift. However, you want a bit of bend in the knee, just a bit. And especially if you're a taller athlete and you have a shorter athlete next to you, you actually want to bend your knees just a little bit more just to help out uh, your shorter athlete. So remember, the big thing with synchron or doing a double def deadlift, where two of you are on the bar, you want to try to get both weights to touch the mats at the same time. Because if it starts bouncing, it gets a little bit uh, wobbly on that bar, you can start tiring out your grip. You can also start tiring out uh, your, your back. And you don't want that in a workout like this where you are doing an AMRAP with deadlifts. See there, using his feet, he is allowed to use his feet. This is foundational heat, but uh, and you can see here, the one athlete a little bit taller, but he's making sure that he bends his knees on your screen at the moment. That is uh, lane number one. Our uh, art axes, average Avengers. And then back to the PVCs. Nice shot here from our cameraman. And beautiful scenery there in the background. We got uh, Monte Cassino. Looks like we are uh, busy doing a crossword comp here in Italy. I must say it is uh, one of the better venues we've been at. You can see those abs getting tired athletes really struggling with those pvcs now and you see they're synchronized remember they can sync at the top for the rep to count but that chin's got to get over the bar if that chin doesn't get over that's a no rep getting those hands nice and chalked up there's also another thing when you're in that arm wrap a lot of people don't take into consideration actually how much you start sweating and how your hands start sweating you gotta be very careful with that if you don't chalk up properly you can come off that bar those bars can be very slippery and these athletes yeah almost done with this workout And uh, really starting to struggle with those rope climbs. You see athletes changing it out there. And there you go, beautiful J hook there. Great little technique there. What you can do is bring those knees up a little bit higher. It does help 
to get uh, get up onto the the rope and reach your target. Let's have a look here at the next athlete. Struggling to get around there. And here we have uh, one of our younger athletes in the foundational. Doing a great job there. And unfortunately, they're just not sinking. You've got to sink. I'm assuming that must be dad. And really cool to see the family out here. Come on, let's get him up there. And he does. They get one rep. Remember, they can sink at the top. So dad can wait at the top for uh, the sun. I think uh, that team there was Elaine 11, the boys. No reps there. Remember, they have to have both their chins over the bar at the top. Doesn't have to sink, but one athlete can wait to get that rep. And there it is. Time for these athletes. And that is our foundational done and dusted here at the Battle 2023. Next up, we have the scaled. And uh, I think we're going to see some exciting stuff there if uh, those lifts from last night have to go. Uh, if you can go by that uh, it was very very competitive out there and some thumbs up there they love that one don't go anywhere make sure that you subscribe to it's happening dot africa hit the bell notification so you know exactly when uh, we upload our next video